Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make the raised logos for Arctic or Yeti to show up in stainless steel when you've powder coated the rest of the cup. It's pretty easy, so stick with me and watch along. This technique was shared with me by one of my subscribers, Dennis Johnson. Dennis makes the coin rings that I have pictured on the upper right corner. Step 1. Put the Yeti in the oven for 90 seconds or until you see the powder melt. As you can see here, 90 seconds wasn't quite long enough for this particular powder. So after inspecting the tumbler, I put it back in the oven until I saw a full gloss all the way around, at which point I set it out to cool to the point where I could touch it. Now that the powder has flowed and cooled it to the touch, I am going to attempt to sand the logo. It's raised above the rest of the cup, so initially I thought I could probably get away with just using the foam sandpaper right on the cup, but I ended up putting some tape around it to ensure not hitting the rest of the cup. And as you can see here, cleaned up pretty well after just a few seconds. Once I was happy with how the raised logo looked, I removed the high temp tape I had used to protect the area surrounding the logo. After wiping down the cup with a soft cloth, it was back in the oven until the tumbler hit 400 degrees. Once the tumbler has hit 400 degrees, which is part metal temperature, I set the timer for 20 minutes, which is the full cure time according to the manufacturer's instructions. Once the tumbler has cooled to the point that it can be handled, I can continue my customization of this tumbler. I'll be using my laser to finish up the customization of this Yeti because it's the only way I can customize a tumbler with my own logo. Here's a bonus tip for those of you that actually are lasering your cups. As you can see when we pull these out they're covered in soot. The first thing I use is a Clorox wipe. These seem to do a really good job and they don't damage the powder at all. Now for that time when the powder doesn't come completely off or if the soot is particularly heavy I use a magic eraser and these things just do an amazing job at really giving a nice shine and they absolutely do no damage to the powder. That's all I've got for today. I hope you've enjoyed this tip. If you have any questions, please ask them down in the comments. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe and have a great day.